Hi, GeekMesher here. This video is all about EasyBTD, which is a boot manager so you can use multiple operating systems. Okay, first of all, you want to go to your web browser, which in my case is Firefox. And you can do this two ways it's by typing in EasyBTD in Google. And that will give you this website, which is the perfect website. Or you could just type in the URL at the top. Once you have done this, once the page is loaded, go down to the bottom, click the download button, and then save this to your hard drive. Okay, once you've downloaded it, you want to install it, so double click it. Don't worry about this little pop up, press yes. You want to quickly read through this, press next. And now this I window agree. should pop up. Next and install. Wait a couple of seconds, make sure you tick this little box, and then press finish. This page is the menu for the ECBCD 2.0.2 version. As you can see right here, I have no operating systems um, added on at the moment. To add a new operating system, you must click the Add ent New Entry button. Okay, you must call it whatever you want. You can call it your um, your gaming PC or your working PC. I call it my working seven. Let me call it. Um, I believe it's my it's my C drive, and you've got to make sure you click click the right one because mine's Windows Seven. But you can always pick a Linux or a Mac. Ah, the only problem with that is that it changes it back again. So working seven, and it's my C drive. So you press this button. But once I click this button, a little thing should pop up here, which it does. Perfect. To see if that worked, we must click the Edit Boot menu. And as we can see, it worked perfectly. If you only want the working PC to set up first, select it and click the skip boot menu. So when it boots up, it just skips it so it automatically goes to this machine. Or you can click the, like, after 10 seconds, sorry, 10 seconds, it should um, go to the default one, which is this one, because there's a little tick. Or well, if you only have one, you should really only, you should click that hard. But I have a, another Windows 7 machine, so we'll call this Gaming 7. Gaming 7. Now, I believe it's my F drive. Let's click this button, make sure this has popped up on the bottom. And now, as you can see, this has been added. But there is no default, which you can change if you want to. But working comes first before games. Here, very, very clever bit of software. If your Windows 7, which is here, my other Windows 7, hasn't got BTD on it, you can always install it from here, from another operating system. So you don't have to go download it again, reinstall it, and then do all the options. This will automatically, automatically configure it perfectly with the same with the one that's already on your PC. After that, if once you've clicked it and you're happy with it, press the save settings, exit it, and normally it should pop up here on your desktop. Thanks for watching this Geek Masher video. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe above and comment below. Thanks.